Don't you just hate it when you're busy working away on your keyboard, you catch something out of the corner of your eye, and it's a new message on your phone. You gotta stop what you're doing, look at your phone, answer your text messages. Now, apps like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, and the like already have a web interface, so that's easy. But Android Messages doesn't. Well, now it does. Let me show you how to set it up. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, how-to, tips and tricks, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Right, let's get this thing set up. Go to google.com and then open your web browser and then go to messages.google.com. Press enter and then you'll get to the website. Here you can read all about it, but the one we're interested in is on the top right hand side, messages for web. Click on that. It will generate a QR code for your computer. Make sure you tap this to remember your settings if you're gonna be using this machine the entire time. Right, on your phone, make sure you've got the latest messaging application version, open messages, three little dots, messages for web. Now, what you wanna do is tap on the QR code scanner and go ahead and scan that code from your computer. This is the one place you do wanna enable notifications, so click on allow, and now you can press start, you can go talk to anyone that you already have set up in your contacts, and in fact, if you use an existing content, it will bring up any messages and the history that you already have on your phone. So everything is nice from your web interface. Now, they press the settings there, and then you're gonna choose dark theme. That's the first thing I do. Changes it, just makes it a lot better to use. Go back into settings. Here, as you can set up things like notifications, things like remember me on this computer. Again, if this is the permanent machine, you wanna have that enabled. So what kind of messages can we send beyond text? Well, of course we need to have our emojis. I mean, no message is complete without emojis. But you can also have a whole bunch of animated GIFs, which are quite cute. And then some things like um, Cinco de Mayo, which is a themed holiday, have a whole bunch of those. You can search for that, as well as additional files from your computer. Simply send them as a text message. So there we go. Very straightforward. Something that was already in our faces. We just never noticed. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And if you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, which is the head below here. Check out some of these other cool tech videos and I'll see you over there.